Spanish moss, cypress, palm trees. These vibrant landscapes celebrate the raw beauty of Florida, and it's a style made popular by a group of black artists back in the 1960s. They were called the Highwaymen. Now a Pinellas County painter is honoring their craft and history, and Fox 13's Catherine Hawley shows us. Now I'll add some moss up here. He's usually in a park. That's how you know you're in Florida. Or along a street in St. Pete. Easel set up and oil paints out. Best place in the world. West Evans is a Florida transplant, but his love for the Sunshine State comes through in his art. Palm trees, palmettos, bald cypress, egrets, swamps, the real Florida. Up until about four years ago, Evans had never picked up a paintbrush. He's a speed painter with a very distinct style. They're Florida landscape paintings. Um, most people look at them and they'll say, that looks like a highwayman painting. That's because he was taught to paint by Al Black, one of the 26 African-American artists from the 1960s known as the Florida Highwaymen. The group got their start in Fort Pierce during segregation. They weren't allowed to display their work in galleries, so they sold their paintings from the trunks of their cars. And he went to doctors and lawyers and motels and anybody that would look at the paintings and ask if they would buy them. Truesdale's late husband, Alfred Hare, was the founding member. She says the Highwaymen produced about 200,000 paintings, but after 1970, interest in the art fell off. It wasn't until the mid-90s the vivid scenes became popular again. The 26 painters were inducted into the Florida Artist Hall of Fame, and these days, their paintings go for tens of thousands of dollars. Now, we are planning a Highwaymen Museum to actually house the Highwaymen painting so their legacy will continue on long after their eyes have closed. There's a big fundraiser on the Treasure Coast Monday night for the project. Here in our area, Evans is also helping to raise money for the museum by accepting donations and selling some of his own works. If I had never met Al, I wouldn't be painting at all. So the least I can do is like, you know, try to help put him in this museum where, you know, it's them. It's just for them. Catherine Hawley, Fox 13 News. All right, and I just found him, and he's going to be at Elva Rouse Park tomorrow noon till 3. He's got paintings for sale, and he's just, uh, he's helping to get this museum together. So you can go by yeah. and say hey, and, um, you know, see some of what he's painted. His work is incredible. Yeah, I can't believe looks, how fast he does that. I know. And it does look so much like those highwaymen paintings. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah.